So what is going on YouTube, my name is Meho and welcome to this video in which we'll be discussing about event loop basics in JavaScript. So in JavaScript, there's this fancy thing called as event loop, which basically means that it's running in a loop and it's executing some sort of instructions on a conditional basis. Now this is very abstract, so let's get a little bit into how the event loop actually looks like. Here's a simple demonstration of how event loop might look like. So you have a simple while loop which has a function called should run and has a function called do something. Now obviously event loop does not really look like this but you're gonna see that how we can mimic the behavior of event loop in JavaScript using the following while condition. Now we're gonna see how the should continue method actually looks like. So in the should continue method, what would ideally go are the three following checks. So node would check whether there's any sort of set timeout, set interval or set immediate, any sort of timer which is pending, right? So if it is a timer which is pending, we are not going to end the loop. Secondly, we'll check if there's any sort of operating system task going on. For example, um, HTTP server. For example, when you use node.js and write app.listen on the port number 3000, you're going to see that operating system is going to bind port 3000 to that particular node process. So node is going to check, well, yes, there's some sort of operating system task which is available, so we do not have to quit. Thirdly, node would check its own tasks. For example, if you are if you have opened a file for reading or maybe for writing and if you are writing some sort of data. So if that is the case, then still node would keep the script running. That is the event loop running. Now, in this case, what basically happens is as long as should run is returning true, that is, there's some sort of pending timer, operating system task, or, you know, no chase itself tasks, then the event loop would run. And as long as event loop is running, your node script would execute, right? So once that comes out of the loop, the script would break and you would be returned to your terminal. For example, if you're writing node script.js, something like that. So that is how it's going to work. Coming to the do something method, what we have to realize is that in event loop, whenever this method is called, the execution is completed, you're going to see that this is regarded as a single tick, right? So a single tick in node means that the body of the event loop, the loop body has been executed. Now what do something do is that it checks the following thing. First of all, it will see if there's any sort of pending timer which is completed right set timeout set interval if that is the case we're going to run the callbacks for that that is what should happen when that timer is completed second we're going to check if any sort of pending operating system task which is done for example um you know any sort of network request for us to say so if that is the case run the callback third we're going to pause the execution and we're going to resume the operating system task operation timer if that is something which is completed we're going to resume the event loop right so as to not exhaust the cpu by just running a while loop again over and over without any actual results so this is in a nutshell very basic how event loop works so yeah that's basically it for this video i'm just keeping it short because i'm new to creating videos like this and uh, do let me know what's your feedback on this don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next video with more advanced features of node and event loop in a similar format. Till then, take care and goodbye.